Good morning. We are. It's my usual Sunday morning uh, prep of my week, and my week um, is often busy, and I don't like to cook during the week, so I try and do a lot of prep in advance, so I don't have a lot of uh, cooking to do, just a lot of heating up to do, and uh, one of our favorite um, staples is refried beans, and we just ate the last of our refried beans, so um, <clears throat> it's early on Sunday morning, and I have taken the time to put four cups of dried pinto beans um, in water, about an inch higher than the beans themselves, to soak overnight, and um, I throw them into my crock pot. And this is a super easy recipe. It makes a ton, a ton of beans that I will use. Um, I will freeze them into two cup portions, which is about the size of a, of a can of refried beans that you buy in the supermarket. <clears throat> there are no oil in them. Um, and then I add my flavoring to them. I put them in the crock pot in the morning. I let them cook on low all day. Um, it absorbs all of the flavors and the juice of, um, of the broth that I'll add. And when we're done, um, there will just be this gorgeous uh, batch of refried beans. And like I said, I use them for bean burritos and quesadillas and so forth. So right now what I'm doing is just chopping up some <clears throat> jalapeno peppers because our family enjoys the spice. Um, I'm doing four because I have uh, four cups of the uh, refrieds. This will make a pretty spicy refried bean. If you are serving this to children um, or you are not someone who likes heat, feel free to either reduce the number or um, remove it all together. The beans themselves have enough flavor. Um, they're meant to be a backdrop for uh, and a protein source, so they're definitely... Um, you know, you can add flavor to them as you go. Again, I don't add oil to this recipe, so these are uh, fat-free. For those of you who are worried about oil or cholesterol, um, they are vegan. There, there are no animal products in these beans. Um, and they can be as flavorful as you like. So I am just going to chop up these peppers really quickly to add them to our dish. I'm also going to dice up an onion really fine so that they cook slow and those flavors um, get into the beans and that's kind of the key piece here. If you add these at the end of your cooking, um, the flavor won't penetrate the beans themselves. So this just adds an extra depth of flavor. If you notice I am removing the ribs and um, most of the seeds from the jalapeno pepper because they are very hot. Now, if you don't cut up jalapeno peppers on a regular basis, um, <clears throat> you might want to use gloves. My hands are a little uh, stronger in terms of uh, kind of dicing and chopping these types of veg, so it doesn't bother me anymore. But when I first did this, my fingers and my nail beds burnt something fierce. So, I recommend either some pair of latex gloves or, in a pinch, a Ziploc bag or a sandwich bag that you're using to hold the pepper itself will definitely um, do the trick so that your hands um, aren't bothered by the, uh, by the oil in the jalapeno pepper bag. The capsaicin, I think, is what it is. Um, but I could be wrong. I don't know. I don't know that for sure. Don't take my word for that. So I am doing a very rough chop here. I am not a chef. I am just a cook. So this is a cookie, and I'm sure my, my knife skills could use some help, but it works for me. <clears throat> so just a nice rough chop. We won't be able to see them, because some people may like the spice, the flavor, um, but don't want to bite into a, a huge chunk of pepper. So. This just allows us to be able to see that green, too. And I love to have green in my food. Green is the color of life. Oops, we lost a couple over here. Make sure they get in there. <clears throat> and then I am just adding a small onion. I just want to note on the onion, 
Um, you'll notice it's a sweet, um, sweet Spanish onion, or the Dahlia onion is a great onion to use as well. Um, the flatter the onion, the less pungent it will be, or the less sharp, so it'll be sweeter and a little milder. So just keep that in mind when you're picking out your onions. It's definitely a great tip that I learned. And uh, those Mondo onions that are nice and round, they look pretty in pictures, but boy, they will bring a tear to your eye. So this will help. Um, all of the other tips about uh, chopping onions and eliminating tears, such as lighting candles and so forth, I have not found are particularly helpful. But this particular tip um, I have found to always be true. So, the flatter the onion, the less intense the flavor. Here we go. And that is about it. <coughs> so to this, I'm going to add some Trader Joe's uh, hearty vegetable broth. You can definitely just use water. That is not a problem at all. It will definitely offer the same texture, consistency, and a amount of liquid that's necessary. Um, but whenever I can add flavor, I do. So when I'm cooking rice or beans, um, if I have it on hand, I will use vegetable broth. If I don't, I won't. And I'm not looking to completely cover these beans because I want them to develop that lovely, thick, um, texture and consistency that a refried bean has, so I am going to be cautious about that. I'm also going to add a little bit of smoked paprika and uh, just a couple of sprinkles of this. I'm not measuring. It really is more to taste. And I also add a little bit of onion powder. I know I added the onion, but the onion powder just adds another depth of flavor. And that's what we're trying to do here is make sure we get some flavor into these beans while they cook. And then some people say no salt, so there's this SOS, salt, oil, and sugar-free. Um, I find that a little bit of salt um, has never bothered me necessarily, so uh, just a couple of grinds. I'm using some pink Himalayan salt today, but I also use kosher salt. Um, I tend not to use standard table salt anymore. Um, but the Himalayan salt does add some nutrients as well, so a couple of the grinds of that. Again, there are four cups of beans, so don't be too care uh, concerned about that. And we have our beans ready. Hey, eight hours later, look what we have. Beautiful refried beans. I hit them with an immersion blender. I wanted some beans because I like the mouthfeel, but we have refried beans. So there you have it. Hope you like it. Like if you do. Subscribe, please, if you do. And uh, let me know what you think. Thanks.